Okay, so today we'll be doing experiment 11. You are provided with three sorts, x, y, and z. Okay, so for the first set, I'm going to add a specula of x into a test tube. Okay, and then I'm going to add in dilute nitric acid. So upon addition of dilute nitric acid, you notice that there's effervescence. So I'll be doing the lime water test. Okay, so you notice that there is white precipitate when, bubbled, when the gas is being bubbled through lime water. So your observations for salt X would be there is effervescence form upon addition of dilute nitric acid and this colorless or uh, odorless gas would produce white precipitate when bubbled through lime water. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to repeat the whole experiment using salt Y. Okay, then I'm going to add in nitric acid. And so you notice that there's effervescence. So I'm going to do the lime water test. Okay, so you see that there's a white precipitate that is formed in your lime water. Okay, so this indicates presence of carbon dioxide. Okay, so we are done for salt Y. Okay, so I'm going to repeat it for salt Z. Okay, so I'm going to add in nitric acid. So when I add in nitric acid, you'll see that there's no effervescence, right? Okay. And you see that your salt Z has dissolved in nitric acid to form a clear colorless solution. Okay, so this is your observation for salt Z. Okay, so for A part 2, I'm going to add in more dilute nitric acid. Okay, then followed by 1 cm cube of silver nitrate. So you see, even after addition of silver nitrate, the solution still remains colorless. Or you can see that there is no visible change. Okay, so I'm going to repeat for salt Y. So same thing, add nitric acid. Okay, followed by silver nitrate. So same thing, even after addition of silver nitrate, there is no visible change and your solution remains colorless. So I'm going to repeat for salt Z. So add in nitric acid. Okay, followed by silver nitrate. So upon addition of silver nitrate, you see that there is presence of white precipitate. Okay, so this one indicates presence of chloride and ions. Okay, okay so for in part 3, I'm going to add in about 1 cm cube of the contents in test tube X okay, into a separate clean test tube. Then to this test tube, I'm going to add in aqueous ammonia with shaking until the test tube is one third full. So as you can see, the solution remains colorless or you can see that there is no visible change. Okay, so I'm going to repeat for salt Y. So transfer about 1 cm cube to a clean test tube. Okay, and then I'll be adding aqueous ammonia until it is one third full. So see, okay, the solution still remains colorless or you can see that there's no visible change. Okay, so now I'm going to repeat for salt Z. So transfer about 1 cm cube to a clean test tube. Okay, now I'll be adding in aqueous ammonia. So upon addition of aqueous ammonia, you see that there's your white precipitate. And now I'm going to add in excess. Okay, so in excess, you realize that your white precipitate would dissolve to form a colorless solution. Okay, so for B part 1, I'm going to add in 1 cm cube of solution Q into a clean test tube. Okay. 
Then after that, I'll be adding in NaOH, sodium hydroxide solution. Okay, so upon addition of a few drops of NaOH, okay, you notice that there is a light blue precipitate form. Okay, so now I'm going to add in in excess. Okay, even in excess, your light blue precipitate still does not dissolve, or you can say that it remains insoluble in excess equals uh, sodium hydroxide. Okay, then after that, we seek to gently heat this test tube for at least one minute. Okay, so you slowly start to see presence of a black solid or black precipitate. Okay, I'm going to continue to heat it. Okay, so now you can see that all your blue precipitate has turned into a black precipitate. Okay, so for B part 2, I'll be adding in 2 cm cube of solution Q into a clean boiling tube. Okay, followed by 1 cm cube of potassium chloride. So upon adding of your Potassium iodide, you see that there's yellow precipitate form. Okay, or you can see that the solution turned brown. The blue solution turned brown. Okay, now I'll be adding in equals sodium thiosulfate drop by drop. Okay, so you can't really see it, but when you add in drop by drop, there is formation of a white precipitate. Okay, now I'm going to add in excess. Okay, so there is formation of white PBD. 